Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to show you how to calculate the yield to maturity on a bond. Now I've chosen a quick example here uh, of a bond with a face value of 100 pounds. It pays a coupon rate of 4% on a yearly basis. The bond matures in four years time and the current market value is 89.84 pounds. So basically if you go on the market today you can buy this bond for 89.84 pounds now if the bond value is 100 pounds the annual coupon rate is uh, you will see here I've inserted a little formula uh, it's equal d4 d4 is this cell here so 4% multiplied by 100 and that gives you 4 pounds now what what does that mean it means that every year if you buy this bond you will receive four pounds from years one to years four and then finally uh, in year four you will see uh, you also receive the capital uh, so that will be 100 pounds now based on this information how you calculate the yield to maturity or uh, we can you will also see it uh, very often abbreviated as ytm Excel provides us with a tool to calculate that. So I'm just going to insert a formula here. So equal, I'm going to write rate, open bracket. Now you'll see normally Excel will help you with inserting the information. And the first information you want to insert is, well, how many payments will you receive? So uh, we are receiving payment for four years. So that'll be four. Uh, PMT is the payment that you will receive from uh, the bond investment. So on a yearly basis, you will receive four pounds. So I'll write again here, four. Present value is uh, PV is the amount that you're investing today. Now, as I told you before, if you go on the market today and you want to buy this bond, you will have to pay 89.84. Now because we are paying 89.84, I will insert a negative sign and I'll just put the value here, 89.84. And then FV here um, stands for, well, future value is what is the amount that you'll receive at the end uh, of the bond period. So in this case, you will receive 100. There you go. Now this gives us a yield to maturity of 7%. Now, if you want to check if you've done your correction accurately, uh, finance students must have learned that in fact the yield to maturity is the internal rate of return. And the internal rate of return is that rate of return <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that gives a net present value of zero. Now, what I've done here to double check if our calculations are correct, so I've just set out a small table here. The initial outlay, so at the start, we're investing 89.84 pounds. Years one to four, so years one, uh, I will receive four pounds. Years two, four pounds. Year three, four pounds. And finally, in year four, you will see I receive my four pounds and my capital of 100 pounds. Now, if I want to see if that rate is correct, I'm just going to use Excel and perform an NPV calculation. Now, if you don't know how to calculate uh, NPV, I've also done a small video on how to do that, so you can check that out. Now, in this case, uh, all I will do here is basically we want to see if the NPV of this investment comes to zero, and that will show us that the yield to maturity of 7% is correct. So I'm going to insert an equal sign. I'm going to select 89.84, which is the investment that I make today. Plus, I'm going to type in the letters NPV, open bracket. Now, you'll see again, Excel prompts you for some values here. So, first, it's asking me for the rate. So, the rate is 7%. Now, insert a comma sign. Now, the values is obviously the, the values that I receive from this investment. So, I'm going to select the values from years one to year four. And you will notice that the net present value from this investment amounts to 
0%. And this is just a quick way to verify that you've done your yield to maturity calculations correctly. So I hope this video will help you perform more yield to maturity calculations. Uh, until next time, for another video, take care.